Welcome aboard Speed Doc 713 family. It's your boy Dr. Dre here bringing you the second episode, part one of our travel vlog series. Me and Dr. X, independently, we've done a lot of traveling around the world, so we thought we'd bring you guys some uh, travel vlogs, trip reports, that kind of stuff. So in this episode, in part one, we're going to talk about a flight I took from Houston to Denver, which is part of a larger itinerary from Houston to Denver, to Seattle, to Anchorage, to Fairbanks, back down to Anchorage, Anchorage over to Denver, and Denver back to Houston, and there's some glacier footage and some bear footage, all that in this video, or in this series of videos, so stay tuned, I'll be narrating through, and then we'll have some narrating, uh, some narration text as well. So it's just going to be a quick weekend trip. So it was going to be like 72 hours, boots on the ground. So I was going to leave my car out at Intercontinental Airport. Here in Houston, Houston has two different airports for those of you all that don't know. You've got Hobby Airport to the south side, which is mainly served by Southwest Airlines. Then you've got a big United Airlines hub to the north side at Intercontinental Airport. So I left, Inter well, I left for Intercontinental Airport at about 5 o'clock p.m. for 8 p.m. flight up to Denver. Tonight's flight up to Denver was going to be operated by Boeing 777-200ER. Now this bird is normally a long range bird and United uses it uh, typically on long haul flights but since their Pratt & Whitney fleet is currently grounded this bird here is one of the Ex-Continental Airlines planes with the General Electric engines and so it's going to be flying us on up to Denver replete with the new Polaris style business class suites that I ended up getting upgraded on because I'm Premier Platinum member with Mileage Plus. As you can see it's in the Star Alliance livery. Since it was some time to go before boarding I decided to go ahead and utilize one of the kiosks and order myself up a pre-departure beverage of the adult variety and get me in some plane spotting because I'm a real airplane nerd as well as a car geek. While I was sitting putting a couple back, I noticed a Lockheed C-130 Hercules land. Now that's an odd sight. I've never known. I mean, Houston has Ellington Air Force Base, where if military ops are going to happen here, they happen out of Ellington. I've never seen a military aircraft, at least not a U.S. military aircraft, at Intercontinental Airport. So I was shocked to see this land over on uh, Runway 9. I thought it was pretty cool to see a close-up size comparison between the C-130 Hercules and a Boeing 737. I guess in my mind I'd always thought that the C-130 was a larger plane than what it was. As you can see you have a 737 lining up right behind it and then another one floating in over the numbers over there on runway 9. Park right next to us, we've got a 787-9 head to London Heathrow.